Probably. So apologies to yeah. Mr. Smith. I was not aware that Bad Boys 4 had dropped the trailer. But having seen it, I was kind of shocked at how disappointing it was. Now, were there good things? Yes, some of the cameos. A few good jokes at the beginning of the trailer. A few good jokes at the end. One of the minor characters does seem to be played by a very impressive actor. He was very believable. But again, in terms of the main guts, it was... um alarmingly empty i mean i looked back at some of the photos for bad boys which came out when i was a kid and i loved it michael bay has a very hyper style a lot of people get on him that he's so sexist and he's always framing the women's with their nice ass and their boobs and i was like yeah whatever i think michael is actually a very good director however he is very excessive so it's a very partial style nevertheless the first Bad Boys had a lot of energy. I mean, a lot of energy. And got to give the directors this. They definitely tried with this trailer. They're doing a lot of things with drone shots and zooming in real fast and things like that. But again, the magic is just not there. I wanted to like this and give Will Smith a fair chance because he's just been wrapped up in so many things. The Oscar controversy, Scientology. He's just been mixed up with a lot of bad stuff. And again, he's still a very good performer, very charming. Like I said, the final part was very funny. So yes, still very good comedic timing. But overall, I was just not very impressed. I thought it was very weak as a trailer. I have to give it a severe 4 out of 10. However, maybe the trailer was bad, but the movie will actually be very good. But yeah, I mean, I can't lie. Even Will Smith looks a little bit older than he used to. And Martin Lawrence is incredibly out of shape. Usually I don't think we should be going to that place, but boy... That guy is not in shape at all. And at least at the very beginning of this story with Bad Boys 1, he looked in shape. He looked a little thin, which is incredible. And I get, listen, I gave Bad Boys 2 a chance. I thought it was mainly a cartoon, but it was fine. It actually has a nice cameo with Megan Fox in the background as a stripper. I thought that was amusing. And it has a few nice little good moments, but really it just seems there's not much more to the story. They did a lot with the first one. Yeah, is there enough to come back? Maybe uh, Bad Boys 2 was fine it's okay-ish but really three four uh and even this story i can tell is very derivative so very disappointing i want it to be fair to it but there's just not much here if some hardcore bad boy fans really get into this thing hey good on you i just feel like if they're gonna do this they really have to just do it all over again reboot the whole thing just rethink the thing from the ground up and do something very vitally interesting Maybe not with Michael Bay, but with someone with a really strong style. This just feels they're just trying to revisit the past, but it just didn't work, at least for me.